ride for a real one, yeah Slide on a real one On my mama and God, you the real thing Can't even cap to me, now you feel something Yeah, you want it a million and you show it What you want, is it really that important? You been on my mind and I really can't ignore it Lil' baby, you a 10 When I'm in it, I got you going, oh I can't even help it I don't think I want to Know that I've been on you Ooh, Tell me that you want it Little baby, you a 10 Can I run it back again? So we woke up this morning, got some Dunkin' Road downtown We went through the designer district, the art district And now we're in Brookle, I think Which is like downtown, right downtown Can't, can't film over here? Okay, sorry I said I can't film over here apparently. They're on the very bottom floor and I'm going to the third floor. I'm still gonna record, you're not gonna stop me. Let's get this bread. <laughs> Laid up, we paid up and faded on top of it. Ain't really used to this, I ain't ever has. From the bare minimum, we doing lavish. I was down back, really acting like I had it. You seen right through it, knew I was catting up. Still let me hit it till you cast out it, had enough. Lately, shit been adding up. What you want, I'm activated. Where you looking at me with the minds hella captivated? No, you had you a long day, you agitated I can get you off, no medication, have you elevated Can't fix the world, but I bet I fixed that attitude Move on Big Ten when I fall through, it's all you Slide through the town by the lake shore Used to ride tank to the last drop in the Acura Really, I was down bad, I was acting up Somehow you still ain't had enough, yeah Ride for a real one, yeah Slide on a real one On my mama and God, you the real thing Can't even cap to me, now you feel something yeah, you want it a million and you show it What you want, is it really that important? You been on my mind and I really can't ignore it Lil' baby, you a 10 Wait a minute, I got you going I can't even help it I don't think I want to Know that I've been on you Tell me that you want it Lil' baby, you a 10 Can I run it back again? What we doing? I've been on you long time, I'ma prove it You let me ride tides and I always keep it fluid And a thing going stupid, I be tripping if I lose it I get you so high, I be jet lag We can skip town, get your rest back Vacating it out and blowing jet pack Show me one more time, nothing you best at, yeah One more time with you at sunrise we can slide on Telegraph and do brunch time I've been making ends meet I've been running around to catch it Plays in the field deep I just wanna build reach No, I got you charged up Just let that phone die Pull up in the clutch like I'm Curry in the crunch time I got something for you when the sun gets tired Drop that pen, I've been the black So the option know you ride with a real one Side with a real one On oh my mama and God, you the real thing Can't even cap to me, now you feel something yeah, you want it a million and you show it What you want, is it really that important? You have been on my mind and I really can't ignore it So when we were at LST yesterday, which is crazy to say in the first place We were in Atlanta on Friday, LST on Saturday And the beautiful city of Miami on Sunday I said, if you guys remember at one point in the video That half the reason I came to Houston was to film this specific truck That I'm going to put up on the screen here That's half the reason that I flew all the way to Houston And I'm leaving same day my favorite truck that was out there there were some really nice trucks out there but the fact that that was the only lifted truck on the property of LST Lone Star Throwdown 2023 it was the only one with a poppy's lift kit makes it my favorite truck out there and the colors were just crazy the owner was super nice and Manny walking over there Manny's got the blazers on today he's ready to yeah he's, he's ready for anything today with the Nike socks too he's he's ready for he's ready for anything today the other half of the reason I came all the way to Houston and then Miami was to show you guys the lift kits that Manny is finishing up this week to send to the shop southern tire is building two poppies lift kits within the next two to three weeks one of them is going to obi next month so if you guys are going to obi you will be one of the first people to see the 14 inch coilover fifth gen ram poppies lift kit that will be installed by southern tire and we're here today to see the lift kit before it leaves miami so the first of the two kits that we're going to talk about today the first one is going on a new body style f250 like a 19 and newer f250 we're doing a six inch radius arm kit now I have the actual radius arms here that are going on the truck. We're waiting to send these to powder in a couple of days and we will have the kit later in the week and it will 
get installed early the next week or later this week at the shop. But we're doing a six inch radius arm kit, which comes with a couple of really nice accent pieces that you guys wouldn't expect out of a normal six inch kit. These are the Poppy's Garage six inch, well, four to eight inch, I think technically, four to eight inch, possibly 10 inch, depending on the kit, radius arms that come with your Fords and will come with the Rams as well. Beside the fact that it's one of the nicest radius arms that I've ever seen in my entire life, beside the fact that it's all cut, welded, powder coated, everything done in Miami, most of it done in Poppy's Garage. Outside of that, there's a couple of really nice things that I wanna tell you about this. First of all, I really love the way that all the pieces welded onto here. Something that you guys probably wouldn't know is they go in hand smoothing out all of the accent pieces on the inside. Everything is clean, everything is done by hand, everything's done in-house. All of the overlays are cut here, all the welding's done here. You get super nice joints that go inside of here. They're like Ford factory style joints that go on the inside. Something a little bit different about these as well. You have full caster adjustment on the front, so you'll have no lean to the spring. Even on a six, eight, 10 inch kit, the 10 to 12 inch kit that we saw at LST yesterday had no lean to the spring. And I'm 99% sure that that one was set at 12 inches. So you have no lean to the spring with the full caster adjustment on the front of these radius arms. And I just, to be honest, I love the design of the Poppy's radius arm. I've never been a big Ford F250, 350, 450 guy, Luma Duty, even Rams. I've never been a big solid axle person in general, but I love the design of the radius arms. And I just, this is my, this is my favorite Ford and Ram kit, soon to be Ram kit on the market right now, which is obviously why we're here filming it. So our six inch kit is gonna come with two radius arms here, all gloss black. Both of these radius arms will come with overlays on the inside and the outside. The customer opted for the all gloss black. So the radius arm will be gloss black and the accent piece will be radius or the accent piece will be all gloss black as well. We get our two radius arms. We get a track bar bracket that comes with the overlay as well on this side here, it will have a nice little overlay. We get our steering stabilizer brackets, which come with overlays as well. We get our spacer for the top of the spring, which will sit like this. That gets a overlay on top of that, a nice little poppies overlay, which I'm pretty sure there's some sitting over here that you'll see that'll get polished up. Yeah, so you get a nice little poppies overlay that goes on top of that. And we get a block for the rear, which actually he's gonna show me on the computer, has an overlay on the rear block as, as well. Who, who's bougie enough to put an overlay on the rear block, Poppy's is. That's why Poppy's is the best. The coolest thing about coming here is seeing that, I don't know which pair it is, but one of these pairs will be in our shop later next week. Today's Sunday, so by the end of next week, I will have two of these here. And it just, it's super cool to be able to come and see where it's built and how it's put together and just know that it's being done correctly and given the right amount of time to know that it's gonna be easy to install. And there's all kinds of little details that I could get into about these kits, about how they're easier to install than a lot of other stuff. But you know, we'll, we'll get into that. So that that's, that's for another trip to Miami. Kit number two, kit number two, 14 inch coilover Ram kit. This Ram kit is gonna be, well, actually we have the overlays sitting over here, not the overlays. It's not the overlays for the cradle, it's the actual cradle itself right, right. that's not welded together yet. So these are the cradle pieces that will get welded together for the 14 inch Ram kit. Andrew, if you're watching this, this is your, your cradle sitting right here. I don't know which pair it'll be, but one of these is gonna be your cradle sitting right here. This is one cradle right here. Yeah, so two sides. Oh, two sides, so you get two pieces per side this gets bolted together to be oh. one cradle and then you get two cradles oh that's so cool so yeah the andrew this is your cradle sitting right here it's going to get welded this week and it'll get sent to us in about two weeks so if you're watching this hi andrew these are cradles for a 10 to 12 inch ford kit the ones that we saw over there will get welded together for the ram that we're doing we've got some what front four link bars here for ford kits yes, like sir. eight to ten inch kits 10 to, 12. 10 to 12 inch kits something that's cool about these is these have full caster adjustments on the front of the four link bars as well just like the radius arm do on the bottom so you have no spring sway or leaning I guess is the way to put it just makes it super easy for install you've got some what smaller bars up front for a four link kit yep. smaller bars in the front we got rear traction bar mounts that keep the factory perch so this kind of goes in between the block and u-bolt kit and or the axle piece and the factory perch so if you ever decide to take the lift kit off you can literally just take that off and put the factory perch back in we got 10 inch blocks over here that have over will be getting overlay pieces as well. And then we had already talked about, we got your dual steering stabilizer brackets here, track bar brackets here. And last but not least, we have the beautiful rear traction bars. Yeah, not four lane bars, traction bars. These are all for Fords. 
We haven't finished up any of the ram kit other than the cradle. So the cradle will get welded this week and then they'll start on the, the bars for Andrew's kit. Um, but Mr. Mike, if you're watching this, your radius arms are done. They're getting sent to powder in a day or so. And we've got everything else ready to go to powder as well. I'm, I'm ready to do a 10 to 12 inch Ford kit because I want to see some of these go on the shop. These all get overlay pieces as well. And you guys saw it in person at LST earlier in the, in the video. Just so you guys can get the idea of what the overlay pieces look like on the poppy's kit i did show them the little small overlay pieces over there gotcha. for the for the spring spacers it's cool to me that you can you can't show up to rough country you can't show up to ready lift you can't pull up to mcgoy's and fts even though i love mcgoy's and fts to death you can't pull up to these places and see where these things are built you can google poppy's garage and pull up to the fucking shop and see your lift kit getting built maybe if he lets you in the door but you should be able to pull up and put it on google and see your lift kit getting built that's what i love about this so much that's why i'm here to see mike's lift kit getting finished and getting powder coated i'm here to see andrew's kit getting finished and powder coated it's the craziest thing that i've ever been able to do and you it just it builds so much trust into the product that you're putting on when you can come see where it's built how it's built who's doing it you can ask them questions you can just you get an idea of Everybody likes transparency, right? Everybody likes to see where it comes from and how it's made and then it gets to go on your truck and you get to break fucking necks. Just to throw it in because I'm difficult, this 10 inch kit that's going on an F450, you guys know Amani Forge, Mr. Ed Milani is getting this kit and it's going on 30s for, uh, for OBI, so stay tuned. What you got for me? Hey. What you got for me? Oh, that that there. Yeah. What you got? You guys might remember Ramon's truck that we took the nine inch McGoy's lift off of like two weeks ago. The nine inch McGoy's kit that came off of that truck got repowder coated this beautiful like copper rose gold color. And we have a 2021 or 2022 Chevy 2500 here that's getting that lift kit today. It's getting some 26 by 16s, 35, 15, 50, 26s. Those wheels actually came off Rod Perry's truck. So we got a guy from Jacksonville and a local guy coming together to build a really nice truck for another guy that's local to this area. 26, 16s and a nine inch copper rose gold McGoy's lift on this high country 2500 andrew got the powder coat finished up uh i want to say he dropped the lift kit off yesterday it's this i keep saying copper rose gold because that's what they were telling me with the billet accents copper rose gold color we got the rear traction bars front compression bars torsion bar drops and that beautiful cross member should be really nice going on a black 2500 black high country with some 26 by 16s the 26 by 16s that came off rod perry's truck from jacksonville Freaking beautiful. Shout out KG1, McGoy's, Fury. Got the whole freaking gang. What does that say? Can't hide money. I guess you could if you really wanted to. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of people that do it, you know? This is uh, for you. Um, I think I fit into the category that's more like, I don't really have any money to hide, but I'm gonna spend every bit of it I have. <laughs> Luxury packaging, though. I like the tape on this. It's not from Amazon, that's a real deal. Lighting's better this way. All right. Ooh. Nice. Hold on, hold on. The reason why is because I can't get my hat maker to finish making my hat. Ooh. And they're the same one, so that's definitely an upgrade for sure. All right, now. Mmm. He throw me something extra, or I buy three things. I bought three things. With the hood on it? It's nice. nice. Feel how nice. thin it is. That's good. A little breather. That's a summer shirt right there. A little there. breather. Summer vibes. You go deer hunting in this. Yeah, ain't even summer yet. And then. T shirt. Gotta get the OG. I really wanted a black hat, but they didn't have one at the time. I think that's his OG logo. I like that. Yeah, I got the OG one. Nice. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Freaking beautiful. Looks good on you. 
Thank you. Shout out Justin. Shout out Flawless Shout out Whips. Justin. Thank you. And I, I did mess the order up too. I sent it to my old house and he definitely fixed the order for me. So The goat. That was pretty cool. Pretty nice. done already flown off my head like three times it's all right let the cheddar out a little bit so McGoy sent us this this banner in the mail the other day and it's only right that we pull the banner out since how, how many how often do you get to do a rose gold McGoy's lift but I'm gonna let it throw my hat off so you can see the mullet <laughs> I'm gonna act like I'm gonna act like it's not playing <laughs> that the freaking hey hold one corner uh, <laughs> Freaking McGoys right there. Shout out to McGoys. Freaking fire. What's cool about this truck, like I'm McGoys man out here. What's cool about this truck is you got Rod Perry's 26 by 16s and you got Ramon's seven to nine inch McGoys lift, but it's rose gold now. It's, it's a lift kit and it's a set of wheels and tires of its own onto a new owner. All into the world to shit on them. We got the seven to nine inch rose gold McGoys 2616 KG1 Tridents with a 35, 15, 50, 26 Fury. It's fucking beautiful. There ain't nothing left to say, but let's get this bread. Onward, McGoys man. Onward! Hop into the world. Wind's not blowing. There you go. Oh, that's fire.